Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm well, thank you. Let's see. Good evening, Dennis. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Mm, fine. Okay. How was your day? Thank you. What? How was your day? I think was Mm. Good day. It was a good one. Okay, nice. Did you have to work? Yes, I worked today. Okay, that's nice. And did you have any time to complete any exercises in the platform? Dennis? Hola, hola. Did you have any time Sorry, to on the platform? Mm. No, I didn't, I didn't understand what, oh. you, what okay. did you say. Okay, so I'm asking you about the platform, la plataforma, como vamos? No, sí, sí, este, voy en, el, creo que en el 1.9 ahorita, ahí comencé. All right, just continue working. Remember that we got this week for completing section one, two, and three. So it's okay, just continue working. For this week? Yes, for this week we, we got to complete all, all three, sec three sections good. and the midterm oh, okay. test, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Good evening, Ruth. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. All right, that's nice. How was your day? Um very easy <laughs> oh busy, pardon, busy. you say busy it's fine okay all right and did you have any time to work in the platform um yes yes teacher and um, i go in the section one point eight one point eight okay that's good. Oh. Just remember to continue working. Um, you need to work um, till section three at least. Okay. 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 All right. Hello, Emma. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. How was your day? Um, today I have a lot of work. Oh, you had a busy day. Yes. Okay. And tell me about the work in the platform. Have you been completing the exercises? Um, I am in the last knowledge check of section two. Okay, last note check of section two. That's nice. Very good. Continue working, Emma. Okay, teacher. Good evening, Doris. Good evening, teacher. How are you? And very well, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? It's okay. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. Did you have any time to work in the platform today? 
Yes, teacher, I finished the section number two. All right, you're done with number two, fine. You're just missing section three. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> All right, keep going. Good evening, Jose Angel. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Uh, very well, teacher. Thanks. Excellent. How was your day? Um, fine. Fine. That's fine. Teacher. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. And the platform, Jose Angel, how are you doing with that? Uh, finish, finish, uh, finishing the section two. You're finishing section two, okay. You're doing pretty well, keep going. Good evening, Brenda Calderon. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, that's nice. How was your day? I'm very tired. Oh, okay. Did you have to work? Uh, yes. All right. And the platform, how are you doing with that? I just started section three. You're starting section three, okay? Yeah. All right, that's great. Good evening, Melvin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, pretty well, <laughs> and you? I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Okay, for me today was very busy. It was busy, okay. And uh, how are you doing with the work in the platform? Uh, the section 2.1, the count and no count nouns. Okay. Very well. I have a question. Tell me. For this, for the, for this week, we have to work in section 2 and 3. Exactly. Yes, okay. we have to complete all the work from section one to section three, including the midterm exam. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. All right. You're welcome. Good evening, Catherine. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm really fine. Great. How was your day? Well, uh, today I graduated from university. Oh, congratulations. That's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And the platform, Catherine, have you been working on it? How are you doing with that? Uh, yes, I finished section two. Okay, that's nice. Keep working. Good evening, Gloria. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm okay, thanks. Okay, teacher. How was your day? Um, this is the good day I was working. Okay. And the platform, how are you doing with that? I'm working on session one. Okay, you're still in section one. All right, that's fine. Just remember to continue working, okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right, so let's start by talking a little bit about use two. Yesterday, we said that we used use two for talking about past habit. Uh, we use use two for talking about those things that we uh, regularly did in the past, those habits that we had in the past, but now they are not part of our routines anymore, right? 
And the structure that we follow when using use to is the following. We got, uh, we need a subject, first of all. Then we add use to. After that, we need a verb in the base form. And at last, we need a complement. Here I have some examples. I used to ride my bike every day. I used to ride my bike every day, you say. Next example, help me to read it, Ana Palma. We used to eat pizza on Fridays. Thank you. Doris, can you help me to read the next example? She used to celebrate her birthday. Okay. Alma Joanna, help me to read the last one. You used to visit me. You used to visit me frequently. Okay, so that's the way we use use to. As you see, it doesn't change for any of the subjects. It remains the same for the third person even. So it's always the same thing. Use to, then just the verb, and just notice that the verb goes in the vase form. Write, eat, celebrate, visit, go, use, and so on, right? Can you tell me some other examples? Let's see. Can you guys make some other examples, please? I used to play soccer. I used to play soccer, okay. Another one? I used to read a book every night. I used to read a book every night, all right. Any other I use I use the car every day. I used to use the car every day. Any other? I used to drink chocolate on Monday on morning. Okay, I used to drink chocolate in the morning. Just a little reminder over there. Remember we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night. Just keep that in mind. Okay. okay. So that's the way we use use two. Now I need you to think about your childhood. I want you to make five sentences about the things you used to do as a kid when you were little. What are what were some things that you used to do? So please think about five things you used to do and we're going to share them in just a minute. Take a minute to make your sentences and then I'm going to ask for volunteers to share. Let me know when you get the sentences. You are uh, to play. Okay, so you say I used to play. Okay. Do you all have your sentences already? I used to play basketball when I was a kid. I used to play basketball when I was a, a kid or a child. Okay. 
All right, so let me ask one by one. Let's see, Jose Angel, what things did you used to do? Jose Angel? I, I, use, I used to do... To do a bike. Okay, I used to ride a bike. Uh -huh. I used to ride a bike. a bike. Okay. What else? Dennis, give me another example, please. Okay. I used to play soccer in my neighborhood. All right. That's a good one. Thank you. Gloria, tell me a thing you used to do as a kid. Gloria Vendaño. No puedo, eh, you had play dolls? I used to play with dolls. Okay. Ana Palma, give me another one, please. I used I used to watch TV after class. Okay. Doris. What is something you used to do as a kid? I used to visit to my grandmother on mm -hmm. Sunday. All right. Fabricio, do you have one? Okay, teacher. Este, I used to fly as a kid. You used to? Fly? Fly? A, a kid. So oh, a palabra, kite. No sé cómo se kite. Kites. Okay. All right. Interesting. Ruth, tell me one, please. Um, uh, I, in my family, uh, we used to have coffee with Brill every day at 3 p.m. All right, very good. Brenda Calderon, tell me something you used to do as a kid, please. I used to uh, watch the, the movie. Um, Oh, that's oh, the area um, El Chau. Okay. Melvin. Okay, and I was a kid. I used to play a lot of games with my friends, old friends. Okay, excellent. Catherine. I used to watch movies with VHS. Oh, all right. That's good. Emma. When I was a child, I used to like draw and paint with my sister. Okay. Very nice. Alma Joanna, tell me your example. I used to meet with my friends at the weekend. Okay. They see you did. Tell me another one, please. I used to visit my family at the weekend. Okay. Excellent. Now 
let me tell you a little bit about the negative form of use too. So the structure we need for making sentences in the negative form is this one. We got, first of all, the subject, once again. Then we use the auxiliary did plus not or didn't. Then we have the verb use to. In this case, notice that we do not have a D, right? We use it in the base form, use. Use to, then we add another verb in the base form. And after that, we have to add a complement. Here we have some examples. I did not use to wake up so early. Can you read the next example? Jose Hernandez, please. Jose Hernandez, can you help me to read the next example? Sorry, teacher, voy entrando a la clase ahorita. Okay. Um, so, can you help me to read this? A leer el ejemplo. Me ayuda, porfa, Jose. Okay, how about Gloria? Gloria, help me, please. Yeah, teacher. Okay, please, thank you. I, I did not used to wake up so early. Okay, and the next one, Ana Palma. We didn't use to drink soda. Thank you. And the last example, Dennis. They didn't use to go to the park. Okay, thanks. So as you see, we use the auxiliary did plus not, then use. It is not used, it's use, used to. And after that, we need the verb in the base form. Wake up, drink, go. Now let's talk a bit about the questions. For the questions, we use the auxiliary did. Then we need a subject. After that, we add use to. Again, without the D. And after the use to, we add the verb in the base form and the complement plus the question mark. And we get questions like, did you use to play video games? Or did you use to watch TV in the afternoon? Did we use to eat a lot of candy? So let me hear some of your answers, for instance. Let's see. Jose Angel, did you used to play video games when you were a child? Uh, no, teacher. No, you I didn't. didn't. Okay. Dennis, did you used to play video games? Dennis, did you used to play yeah. video games when you were little? Yes, I did. All right. Ana Palma, did you used to play video games? No, I didn't. You didn't. Alma Joana, did you used to play video games? No, I didn't teach you. I didn't. Okay. Fabricio, did you used to watch TV in the afternoon? Yes, I watched. Yes, I did. You say, or yes, I used to I, watch TV in yes, the afternoon. Watch, okay. Yes, I did watch TV in the afternoon. All right. Very good, Fabricio. Isaac, did you used to watch TV in the afternoon when you were a kid? Yes, I did. It. You did. Okay. 
Brenda Calderon, did you used to eat a lot of candy when you were little? No, I didn't. You didn't. Okay, Melvin, did you used to eat a lot of candy when you were little? Yes, I did. You did, okay. Catherine, did you used to eat a lot of candy? Okay, so let's continue with this activity. Let me send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes. I want you to make a conversation. You are working in pairs, right? And you are going to make a conversation using use two to talk about your childhood. Vamos a hablar de nuestra niñez. Entonces puede ahí realizar preguntas e ir respondiendo y contando acerca de algunas cosas que solía hacer cuando estaba pequeño, ¿ok? Is that right? Okay, teacher. Okay, so remember, you have to make a conversation using use two to talk about your childhood. Think about the games you used to play, the things that you used to like, and the routine that you used to have, for example. Okay, I'm sending you to the breakout rooms right now. There you go. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Daisy. Hi. Did you you? use it to play video games? Yes, I did it. Did you use to watch? TV in the afternoon? Yes, I did. Did you, did you used to eat pizza in the night? No, I didn't. Tiene alguna preguntita para mí? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I don't have a question. Is the in the picture you can send in the group the WhatsApp? No. Tendría tengo que que agregarme. Lamentablemente no lo he hecho porque no he estado estos días conectándome, pero ahora mismo. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. No problem. Yuri. Okay, in the zoom is remember I, I don't have this uh, uh right the the um, question. So Isaac, can, what you have you to do me? is to make a conversation using use two to talk about your childhood. Hacen una conversación oh, okay. platicando Thanks. sobre su niñez. Ahí van eh, comentando cosas oh, okay. que hacían, que solían hacer cuando estaban pequeños. Tal vez juegos que les gustaba eh, practicar, algún deporte que les gustaba hacer, un poquito ahí de la rutina que seguían, cosas así. 
Ok, de acuerdo. Gracias. Did you, Luis. did you used to gain Mika? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> you used to play Mika. <laughs> Mica. Mica loca. Ladrón librado no sé si en inglés. No, there is no name in English, I guess. You say those in Spanish. Did you use okay, to... Daisy. Lo ve ahí. Sí. A ver. Y ahí contesta para no irnos así como que directo a las preguntas. ¿eh? Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces ahí solo puede como hello Doris, how are you? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ahorita estoy escribiendo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. I am very well. And you, what's your name? Okay. Um. Ok, lo voy a poner. Y de ahí le pongo. Then, I want... Bueno, pues, would you, o, o de un solo así como preguntar, would you like to talk about your childhood? Ajá, yo le iba a poner así como que quiero saber sobre tu niñez. Y de ahí le iba a hacer la pregunta. No sé si le parece. Ah, también. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, then. My, uh... I went to the weekend. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. My, my... Mi niñez. Ah, oh, childhood. 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 Me cuesta. <laughs> no, I'm igual. Childhood. Uh -huh. I'm eh, born in. Uh, it's different. No? It's different. Eh, Cojutepeque and Santa Tecla. Yes, it's different. Uh -huh. I'm born in, in Ataco City, o Villa Concepción de Ataco. Okay. I, uh, um, Couple of years, uh, I live in Aguachapan City. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. The next, is, uh, I work in San Salvador. I este, tried San Salvador, Aguachapan ah. every day. Every day? Yes. Ay. 14 years. Is uh, tired every day. Yes. Uh, so, so. Ay, <laughs> ya me acostumbré. <laughs> ah, okay. In actuality, I, I, I work to home. Uh, For the uh, pandemic. Uh, actually. Actually, uh -huh. I work to home. I my case eh, um, is 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 two. Te, telehome, tele, tele, uh -huh. tele uh -huh. telehome. Of course. Yes. We come back to the to the classmate. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Okay, teacher, uh, we talk about uh, the past. <laughs> about when the what? The, when we were king. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And also we talk about the present. Oh, okay, that's nice. You're making a comparison. Yes. Okay, so you're ready with the conversation and everything. Yes, Melvin was a smart student. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Anna, uh, she, she used to uh, play basketball, um, study, study, I used to, uh, she used to study and, and watch TV. Okay. So she used to be quiet. Yes. All right, that's nice. Okay, we're getting back to the main room in just a minute. Okay. See you in a moment. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, did you go um, Mundo Feliz? Yes. No, I didn't. Yes. <laughs> Play maquinistas. Okay. Did you did you Okay, so now I want to hear some of the conversations. Do I have any volunteers to present the conversations? Anybody? Don't be shy. Let's see. Well, How is um... here you want. <laughs> Or let's see, Anna, did you want to participate? Yes. Okay, so Anna, go ahead. Melvin. My partner, Melvin. Okay, Melvin. He used you? to play video games with friends and family. And he, he used to like he used to study um, when 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 he was a child or he or kid or kid. Um, okay. So actually, he he worked on a on ONG. Okay. Yes. That's all. All right, thanks for share, for sharing, Ana Palma. Um, just let me um, tell you about the word actually. I heard it a couple of times and, uh, well, I think we are misusing it. Creo que la estamos malentendiendo, malinterpretando. La palabra actually no es actualmente, sino que significa en realidad and para decir actualmente podemos decir in these days or now maybe or in the present for instance but we cannot use actually for that okay actually significaría en realidad de hecho and okay. right now in the world right now is one yeah. too right now is fine okay Okay, so let me hear a conversation. Let's see, maybe from Doris and Dennis. I think I saw you making a conversation. Can you present it, please? Okay. okay. Are you ready, Dennis? 
Ay, voy a improvisar. Bueno, no. okay. yes, I'm ready. Hi, Dennis. Good evening. Hi, Doris. Good evening. How are you? I am very well. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, Dennis, I will... I would like to want about your childhood. Really? Tell me, what would you like to know about my childhood? Okay. Did you use to play with your siblings or your cousin? Yes. Yes, I did. I used to play with my brother a lot. Oh, perfect. And tell and, me, and ask. You tell what? me. And did you used to fight <laughs> with your friends? Fight? Did, he, did you used to fight with your friend? When you were child? <laughs> Hola. The verb, I don't understand. That you say me. I'm sorry. Pelear. Pelear. I'm sorry, I didn't. No, I didn't used to fight. <laughs> okay. All right, is that it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Dennis and Doris, thank you for making a conversation. It was very thank nice. Thank you. Let's see, do I have another pair to participate? Anybody? Let me see, maybe Emma and Catherine, did you prepare the conversation? Teacher. Yes. I make, we make um, sentences. You made sentences. Okay, just tell me about the things you talked about then. So, um, when I was a child, I used to play dolls with my sister. Okay. Um, when Catherine was a child? When I was a child, I used to play with the GameCube, GameCube with my cousin. All right. Um, when I was a child, I used to like read books. Okay. And Catherine? When I was a child, I, I watched TV after the, to, uh, the, the school. You used to watch TV after school, okay. Nice. And when I was a child, I used to make dresses for my dolls. Great. When I was a child, I used to play with the cat all the time. All right. Thank you, Emma and Catherine, for participating. That's very nice. And okay, so now let's continue with our next activity, which is people used to. So how does it go? Well, here I have some different situations or well, some different inventions we got along the history. 
And we're going to just think about the things that people used to do before those inventions. For example, if I say, before the invention of the light bulb, And we say people used to, so what do you think people used to do before the invention of the light bulb? Antes de que se inventara el, fo el foco. Oh, candle. Video. People use candle. People used to use candles. Very good. And now tell me about something that people didn't used to didn't used to do. People didn't used to. Use the cell phone. Use cell phones. Very good. Second invention. Before the invention of the television. People used to watch plays. Dramas. To the theater. Watch plays at the theater. Okay. And tell me about something people didn't used to do. Watch movies. People didn't used to watch movies, that's right. Okay, another invention we can consider is the refrigerator or the fridge. So before the invention of the fridge, People used to save meats. People used to what? Save smoke. They smoke the meat. Sorry, can you repeat that? Can you say it again, please? Save food. Oh, save food. Where or how? Let's say in containers, for instance. And people didn't use to. What can we say? Eat ice cream. Eat ice cream. That's a good one. Okay, now invention number four before the invention of the car. People used to? We used to the carreta. People used or walk, to... or horse, mm. or ride a horse. Okay, used to walk or ride no. horses. Mm -hmm. People okay. used to run. Hello? People used to run. Just let me double check the word for carreta. Oh, it's a cart. Me, I, I said carreta. Yes, so people used to use carts. Okay, and let's mention one more invention. That one is the mobile phone. So before the invention of the mobile phone, people used to send letters. 
letters. Send letters. Excellent. And people didn't use to. Emails. To send mails. Or emails, right. Okay, very well. Now in the remaining minutes, yeah, we got a couple minutes. We are going to compare the past to the present. So we're going to consider the following elements. First of all, computers. How were computers in the past? And how are they now? Just make a comparison over there. In the world, what things used to be there in the past and now they are different. Also talk about movies and films, education, music, family, and communication. So let me send you to the breakout rooms again. This time we are working in, this time we are working in groups. So let me just make the groups. Just give me a second. Okay, there you go. Please um, discuss about these things. Talk about the past and the present for computers, the world, movies, films, education, music, family, and communication. Hola, hola. Creo que teníamos que hacer los ejemplos que ella acaba de dar, así como antes de que se inventara las computadoras, creo yo. Entonces sería, before the invention of the computers, people used to paper. Yes, that's good, Daisy. Just remember, we say um, mm -hmm. people used to use. Uh, used to use paper. Yes. Mm. Music. Uh, to use. Okay. Right. On paper. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People used to uh, máquina de escribir. <laughs> People used to use typewriter. Yes. People used to use contometer. Mm 
Okay, continue by talking about the world. So maybe you could say there used to be more nature, there used to be more trees. What's different from the past and now? So no contable and no contable. Less is okay. Less is it's okay. It's okay because yes. it's on contable. It with less? Hi, do you have any with less? less pollution? Double L. Double L. Pollute. W L. Okay. In the movies. In the film. The theater. The theater. The location. The location was better. Education the, used to be better. Remember to use used to. Yeah. <sighs> okay, education used to better. Used to be better. Used to be better. Used to be better. 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 In the music, ah, education, eh, perdón. Education. Creo que ya no llama, ¿verdad? No. No, you can continue sí. working. Ah, oh, es, es que es mi education. In the past, education is no use the calculadora. So you say students didn't use to use the calculator? Okay. In the present, students used to uh, computers. The present students use computers. Recordemos el used to es para el pasado y para el presente utilizamos el simple present. Ah, ok, use, use. Ok. The music. The music used to um, It's more easy and and it's and it's it, but you can you can have a Wi-Fi or and and your phone and everywhere do you do you stay. Okay.
Okay, guys. So thank you very much for your attention and your participation in this class. Take care and have a good night. Sleep well. Thank See you. you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good, good, night. good 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 night. Bye.